many incidents, wallahi, we know of, and I'll just give you small ones. Back in Egypt, and it's, it's a sheikh that narrates this, this a very famous sheikh in Egypt, and he says he's driving his car, and he sees another car driving by. And, you know, uh, uh, there is a guy and his girlfriend, and they're going to the Mediterranean, and they're having fun, you know, like driving, you know, to do whatever. And they're speeding. And then he said, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. But as he drives later, he finds this car in a car accident and a truck on top of it. And the sheikh goes out and he finds this kid and he pulls him out and he said, I realized he's dying. That's it. He's in a very bad condition. And that's so this is a sheikh. So he told him the same thing. يا ابني قول لا إله إلا الله. My son, say لا إله إلا الله. And the kid raised his head and says, أنا بكرهه. I hate him. And he dies. What's going on? Another incident, the same thing. It's a group of guys in Egypt, same thing. They're going to have a party. And, oh, we forgot to get wine. They want to drink. They're Muslims. And they drive to get those kind of khamr. But an accident happens. And two of them go out of the car. And one of them looks to the other and he finds him saying, he looks okay. But all of a sudden he starts saying, مش قادر أبلو. مش قادر أبلو. I can't meet him. I can't meet him. And he tells him, who? And he says, Allah. A businessman, and this another story, true story, in an aeroplane. And again, he starts feeling he can't breathe, and like he's tired. And the one beside him got concerned, and he starts holding his bag. And then he get, it gets worse, and he's, he can't breathe. And and the person beside him, see la ilaha illallah. He realizes that he's going to die. The angel of death comes anywhere. Nothing stops him. Any place in an aeroplane. And and the, the person, give me the bag. Give me the bag. And says, see la ilaha illallah. And he said, no, no, give me the bag. Everything is in this bag. My, my wealth, everything. Give me the bag. Let me hold. And he says, he held him. See, la ilaha illallah. And he looks at him and tells him, Ya akhi, the kilma di kulla magi ulham, I'm not sure. Oh, my, my brother, this word, whenever I try to say it, I can't say it. And he dies. I can't, at the time of death, shaitan comes and you see them. No, no, I can't meet Allah with this. I can't meet him like this. I didn't repent from that. I don't want to die. And the last thing coming out from me will be what? No, no, wait, I don't want to meet Allah. Not yet, I'm not ready. And of the opposite of this, people with good ending. I'll give you one quick example. Sheikh al-Sha'rawi of Egypt. Some of you might know him. Very well-known Sheikh. Lived his life calling people to Allah and his messenger. He loved the Prophet, peace be upon him. This was his characteristic. And he asked people to love the Prophet, peace be upon him. That's how he lived his life. At the time of his death, Sheikh al-Sha'rawi. His son narrates this. He looks up and he says, "Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah." And then he smiles and says, "Wa ashhadu anna ka Rasulullah, marhaban bi Rasulillah." And he dies. He says, "I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah." And then he looks up and says, "And I bear, I bear witness that you are the Prophet of Allah. Welcome, O Prophet of Allah." And he dies. If if I, my, the last word coming out of my mouth is La ilaha illallah, alhamdulillah. But will it be that? Will it? 